The Dantes nepotism scandal is not over yet. We've learned one of the players at the center of that scandal is now suing Bernalillo County, saying he was a scapegoat. Here's News 13's Katie Kim. Jessica, the scandal reeked of nepotism and favoritism, and a new lawsuit now adds blackmail to that list. You know, the county had some good old boy network problems. The 2010 scandal surrounded Jamie Dantes, who was hired at the county's detox center despite his criminal record and unqualified work history. His dad, John, the then deputy county manager, oversaw the department where Jamie worked, and Jamie caused a lot of problems on the job. He was accused of showing up to work drunk or high, stealing drugs, bringing a pellet gun into the office. A report showed he was never punished because of who his dad was. The county manager at the time blamed Jamie's direct supervisor, Dwight Diaz, for giving him special treatment. Dwight Diaz utterly failed to fulfill his obligations as a supervisor. Then county manager Thaddeus Lucero first announced he would fire Diaz, but later demoted him 26 grand. In a lawsuit filed earlier this month, Diaz explains why he didn't fight the demotion. He says he was on medical leave at the height of the Dante scandal and needed his county health plan to pay for treatment. Diaz says he didn't cover up anything. He then accuses Lucero of blackmail, saying Lucero told him if he accepted the blame for the Dante scandal, Lucero would allow him to keep working for the county and to keep his health insurance. Today, Lucero said the claim was untrue, saying he took responsibility for the whole ordeal. Lucero was ousted by the county commission a few months after the scandal. Diaz ended up resigning. So did John Dantes. And his son Jamie also quit. But County Commissioner Wayne Johnson says even though all the major players are gone, the county is still responsible to pay for what's left. We not only defend it, but we, we have uh, the responsibility to pay damages. We all lose. Um, it's unfortunate it's taxpayer money. Dwight Diaz is suing the county for age and disability discrimination. The lawsuit does not say how much he wants, and his attorney never got back to us. Back to you. Okay, Katie, taxpayers have shelled out a lot of money related to this scandal. Last year, the county had to pay Lucero almost 200 grand to resign.